Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Realm Legend of React Wing. It's been a while, but you know your boy has been cooking and it's time to serve. You know, I gotta serve you guys up real quick with this Sato Rogojo pack number two. It's a revision of some of the original skills and plenty new additions that you guys have been asking for. I think that we've pretty much covered everything with Gojo. Uh, if not, there's a possibility that we'll add more things in the future, but Without further ado, these mods that you guys see, if you are new here, they're Patreon exclusive. You have to be a paying Patreon, and then you join my Discord via link from Patreon. You'll get an automatic roll, go to the Patreon vault, and you'll have access to all the mods that I've made. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Alright guys, here we go. As you guys can see, we have the Sata Rigojo wig. Now, this is not a hair that replaces something in-game. I don't really like to replace things in-game. But, uh, I decided to make this into a wig. And... I'd say maybe later on today or tomorrow, I'll install a new section to the Patreon Vault. Where you guys can download hair models to put on your characters. Obviously, you'd need to know a little bit about modding in order to do so. But I will have it set as a default for your human and saiyan males to replace something that we typically don't like like the mohawk hair or something like that but uh yeah these are imported from the uh game uh curse clash i have a few more things that i want to import like uh yuji itadori's hair and his hoodie for his uh uniform i'll be putting all that stuff in you're gonna get his shoes all of those things of course it makes sense to release that with the Sukuna pack that I'll be dropping next. So uh, I'll be working on that one, but uh, yeah, let's get to these mods, right? This has taken a lot of work, so let's look at, for instance, our uh, reversal uh, red. So you have the typical red that you use when you press the button once, neutral, and if you press it twice, the second hit turns into a grab. And it does that sort of thing, right? Now, we also have our teleportation. However, you're not allowed to use the teleporting one unless you have the six size. I've decided to make this an S tier official form for my uh, tier list. So, those of you guys that uh, wish to play with these characters and skills in events, these will be the balance rules that we have for them. Obviously, there's an easy mode version of this where you can just use everything as much as you want, but uh, not for this. So let's actually just go right into the transformation, and we'll show you how the transformation works. That's uh, two different ways that it can actually work. So if you use this and someone is trying to attack you or they're near you, they're going to have a hitbox that's going to grab them. And then, of course, they're going to get that Toji treatment. Which is really cool. I didn't want to be lazy and not add that. I was like, you know, why not? You know, that's kind of the norm. Even the base game is doing that. So, why not? You should just have transformations do that for people that like to try to break your stamina. And of course, we have the Honored One variant. Now, the one that you guys have, yours doesn't talk, mine does. I had to voice it, of course. But uh, yeah, you know, your boy is the honored one, and I've got to say I've had way more fun being a member of the Gojo clan than I have with my own character. It's insane. So, now let's try out that red move again. So if I hold left or right, I'll teleport behind my opponent and hit him with that. And if I hold down, I'll pretty much be invincible and... If someone's trying to attack me, they'll get stuck in my infinity and they'll get blasted away. Let's have a look at it. Now, something like that has a cooldown because that could be pretty busted. Um, I don't think we have a real easy mode for this one. Or not. I'm not sure if we do or not. <laughs> if we do, uh, I'm sure it doesn't have a cooldown. But this one does have a cooldown because otherwise you can't be beaten. Now. The coolest move, one of the cooler moves that we're getting into is Blue, right? So if you use it in neutral, it's a counter, but if you hold forward, 
It's a pinpoint blue attack like what he did against Toji during the uh, his uh, younger days. Which is really good, really powerful. Now another thing that he could do is use the maximum output, right? You hold left. And anyone trying to get close to you, they're gonna get dragged into the blue. It can be a group of people, they're all gonna get dragged in and it's going to explode in the end. Of course, neutral is the counter, which I'm trying to do. Gogeta is not having it. Relax. Yeah, Gogeta's not having it. I've been using him as a crash dummy for this move for the longest because I like what he says. Attack me, bro. What? Stop. <laughs> there we go. Very, very cool. I love it. This is it's so satisfying. Just having all of these powers at your disposal, it makes you really feel like those are insane for us to fun. What? Alright, so we have that, right? And then we also have the latest and greatest Infinity. Now, the way this works... And I'm not sure if I did this for easy mode. I'm using the easy mode one because I want to use it multiple times. If I use Infinity in easy mode, you'll notice that I have a bit of an aura around me. This is Infinity. And if I'm close to someone else, they get the Infinity Aura, which lets them know that they are caught in my Infinity. Now, the aura is only set to last for about 10 seconds. But, if someone is trapped in your infinity, then it'll kind of prolong it for a little while. Now, there's another thing. If you're using infinity, and I'm gonna, let me go ahead and try this move out. If you're using infinity in your base form, it's not gonna be as strong as the one with six eyes. If you use six eyes with infinity, then it'll have a larger range, and it'll be much more stronger uh, to defend you against attacks. So let's see, like, let's try Kamehameha, right? You see, after a certain amount of hits, it breaks through. Now, what would happen if I use the six size and use Infinity? Let's try it out. You get a cool camera angle, of course, to let you know this is the powerful one. Alright, yeah, that's that's not supposed to happen. You're embarrassing me. I think I know what the issue is here. I don't think I gave those of you guys using the easy mode one the same benefits that I gave for the non-easy mode one. So, I went ahead and equipped the real man's infinity non-easy mode. So, we're gonna go ahead and use this and see what the real effects is. As I said, it's supposed to give you a wider range of infinity and it's supposed to be a lot more stronger. There we go. That Kamehameha is not going through. This is a true infinity, boys and girls. Now, this only lasts for 10 seconds, of course. It's a very busted move, so it will run out. Because you could catch somebody in this and then pretty much demolish them. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show. Alright, so let's get on to something else that was updated. We have Domain Expansion Infinite Void, right? Now, back then, when I would use Infinite Void on the ground, you would still see the ground. Now, that's still an issue if you use it neutral. There's not really a way to get past that. However, if you hold up and use the grab version of it, I found a way to get rid of that. Let's check it out. So, 
So now, in the very beginning, even if you're on the ground, it looks like you're in an infinite void. Sorry about that, Gogeta. And we have our Hollow Purple, right? This is definitely the coolest one. Uh, it would have to be between this and Maximum Blue. Now, of course, we have our normal Hollow Purple. Probably stop with that on Gogeta like he's gonna die. And then we have the maximum, uh, no, it's, yeah, maximum output hollow purple. Hold up and you use like a certain amount of inputs, and then it makes your hollow purple twice as strong. And then we have the infinite output, which it doesn't matter where you're at, everyone on the map gets hit. There's no way around it. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's a way around it. Like, if you have uh, some evasive moves and things of that nature. But yeah, you get the picture. It's a maximum range move. So, Gogeta, even though he's all the way over there, he's going to die. Now, you hold down to do this. And those of you guys that are using the easy mode, you just keep spamming down to do it. And you'll be able to use it. But those of you guys that plan on using this in actual real matches and events, then you want to use a balanced one, you're going to have to use 10 inputs that are a little difficult because this is a very busted move. Okay, it's like a forbidden move. Alright, so here we go. And this move does attack the user as well. As you guys could see. Now you notice Well Gogeta is clearly dead. But um yeah, as I use it and it hits me, he does use reverse curse technique. I wanted to add that in as a little bit of a you know, I, I guess uh what do they call it? Easter egg or something. Um let's just say that it's accurate to the manga, okay? Because Gojo got hurt. Uh for those of you guys um who really don't know. Gojo gets hurt when he uses this move, but he has his reverse curse technique going on actively. Another thing that I haven't really mentioned is what does the Six Eyes transformation do? Well, for one of the main things is that it has an active reverse curse technique on it all the time. It's not insanely fast, so it's not broken, and he also has his uh, Kurt's energy constantly uh, recovering. So let's go ahead and do this. So you see, his Kurt's energy is constantly replenishing. As for his stamina, when he gets his stamina broken, he sort of has this whole Broly effect, right? So I'm going to go ahead and try it out here. So if his stamina gets broken, he'll recover a lot faster than normal people would. As you guys can see, the stamina is going up pretty quick. You can't really do too much craziness with it, but yeah. The stamina goes up pretty good. It's not uh, broken, you'll still be able to fight and do some type of punishment, but you can't take too long with it. Um, but yeah. Aside from that, that's pretty much what it is. We're going to go ahead and cut to another scene to show you guys more on the infinite output hollow purple because it also attacks your teammates, okay? So, one way to lessen the damage with this is to block. It's still going to hit you the same, but you'll take half the damage. The damage is 2,000 while you're in the six eyes. While you're in a uh, base form, it's like a thousand. You know, so it's it's not as harmful. So you get the 2,000 points of damage plus what your transformation adds on to your power. So and it's it's a pretty good move. I'm really excited for it. Um, it's going to be really tough to compete with uh, this when I uh, use uh, Sukuna. So I'm going to have to really be uh, creative with Sukuna and make something just as cool. Um, with that being said, let's yeah, let's go ahead and jump to the next one. Alright guys, so I just want to show you guys a little quick playthrough of how this works and how this skills works while in a team. It's pretty interesting.
They are not bothering with me, so they do not get hit. Alright, so this is how we're going to do this. Capturing them all. Ah, they got knocked away. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and do this now. This right here should kill even my teammates. Everyone but Freezer should be dead. There you have it. And if I use this too many times, I can actually kill myself. Right now, I don't know if I have enough health to survive this. Reverse curse technique is not going to save me if I have too little health. Okay. It <laughs> looks like we got Frieza before it actually killed me. Anyways, guys, uh, please let me know your thoughts. If you guys want to see more of Gojo, you want me to drop some more things. I got a couple more ideas that I can add for Gojo. Uh, for one thing, I think I'd like to give him a custom stance for your CACs to use. Uh, this would obviously be likely just for human male and saiyan male another thing uh i would like to give you guys the opportunity to turn off your domain expansion it's not something that i've worked on yet but i know i could do it and i'm sure some of you guys get into situations where characters freeze up because they're trying to use a super armor move and it just keeps them there forever so that is one solution to that is to turn the domain expansion off uh aside from that guys uh please please leave a like to this video i've worked really hard on these mods and i'd love to see your support in that way i'll see you guys in the next one peace out What's the matter? Is that the best you can do? I'm going to fight with all I've got! <laughs>